Hi everyone! From the world's heaviest dog to one that looks like an ancient statue, here are the 10 most unusual dogs in the world. English Mastiff what if I told you there was a dog that weighed about 343 pounds, 156 kilograms? Would you believe me? One of the heaviest breeds in the world is the English Mastiff, whose ancestor, the Molosser dog, dates back more than 2,500 years. Back then, these Mastiff-type dogs were used as dogs of war by the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. They were vicious killers, but since then they have been bred into peaceful giants that we know and love. The English Mastiff goes back about 2,000 years, brought to what is now England all the way from Asia with Phoenician traders. Any large dog was referred to as a Mastiff, and they were used for guarding horses, livestock, fighting bears, and whatever else you needed. English Mastiffs can weigh 300 pounds, that's 136 kilograms, or more, and can live almost 20 years. They are the perfect lifelong companions for anyone who wants a giant dog as their best friend. And back to the dog that weighed 343 pounds? Well, his name was Zorba. He held the record as the heaviest dog in the world until 2001. You probably don't realize how big these dogs are simply because they are not as tall as others. But I promise you that if you have an English Mastiff in your lap, you will quickly realize how huge and heavy they are. You have probably seen pictures of giant dogs held back by thick metal chains, but although I don't want to disappoint you, many of these pictures are a bit exaggerated. But still as you can see, these dogs are giants. Catahoula Cur have you ever been interested in having a pet leopard? If you have always wanted a leopard, but have been frustrated by the obvious impossibility of getting a leopard into your house, you may be pleased to know there is a leopard dog. Well, they don't bear much resemblance to a leopard other than their peculiar spots, but you get all the benefits without getting attacked. It is an American breed and the official dog of the state of Louisiana. The term cur, by the way, refers to the lowest class of mixed breed, which means that Catahoula's is a pedigree stray dog and therefore exhibits a wide range of sizes, coat textures, and colors. Ranging in weight anywhere from 40 pounds to 110 pounds and has distinctive spots that are like those of a leopard. One thing you will notice about the leopard dog is that they love the forest. They love running through the woods, playing outside, and being generally free. For this reason, anyone who has ever owned one of these dogs knows that they hate collars and leashes. These dogs are serious explorers and are ideal for anyone who lives in a very forested environment. And now for number 8, but first be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know about your favorite kind of dog in the comments below. Chinese Crested the Chinese crested dog is one of the smallest and most unusual dogs in the world. It looks like a mix between a poodle and a chihuahua, with a bit of sphinx cat thrown in just for fun. It looks like an over pampered poodle that lost most of its hair. The most common type of Chinese crested dog is almost completely hairless with only a silky head of long and flowing hair and a little bit of fluff on its tail and feet. Because of this dog's strange genetic makeup, it must be bathed frequently and groomed so that its skin remains healthy. Otherwise, it can develop a dangerous form of canine acne. Chinese Cresteds have little desire to go out and run like regular dogs, however, they are athletic enough to jump high hurdles and compete in agility. As a toy breed, the Chinese Crested Dog loves to be spoiled. It can live for about 13 years, and it is a surprisingly affectionate companion. And even though it is named the Chinese Crested Dog, there is no evidence that it ever originated in China. Some experts believe it evolved from hairless dogs and has maintained its existence through mutations. Azawak The Azawak dog is one of the rarest, most unusual, and most expensive dogs in the world. They originate from the Azawak Valley in the Sahara Desert and are lean hunters. They look regal, they are extremely proud, and they make some of the most loyal and protective companions for any family. But they sure do look bizarre. These dogs are extremely skinny and are at their healthiest when they are nothing but lean muscle and bone. They love chasing animals, humans, and bicycles. If you don't train your Azawak properly, it may end up chasing anything that moves too quickly. If you want one of these dogs, you'd better have plenty of time to exercise daily. I mean, after all, they were bred to hunt gazelles, so they have to be really fast and want to be running all day. The male Azawak can stand up to about 29 inches and weigh roughly 55 pounds. They're surprisingly light for how tall they are. There are many colors, but one of the most popular is chocolate. If you are interested in a unique and unusual dog, this is the dog for you. But they're very rare, and it can be difficult to find one. Have you ever seen one in person? Let me know in the comments below. Cadelburn 
Now, traveling to Turkey, we'll find the next furry dog. An estimated 150,000 pet dogs are living in Istanbul alone, and only 200 of them are Kettleburan dogs, according to Dog Zone. That's seriously rare. This dog is not even recognized as an official breed, though they are known generically as Turkish pointers. You can spot this dog easily because of its double nose. It has a strange split in the middle of its nose as if some kind of mutant. These dogs are made for stealth. They can track silently and stand completely still for very long periods. Probably, you have never seen one of these unusual dogs hanging out at the park, unless you're in Turkey. Are you? They're so clever that not only do they require physical exercise, but the Turkish pointer also requires mental stimulation. Because of this, they are not great for living in apartments, but they're fit dogs to live in the neighborhood because they'd rather not bark. When trained regularly, this breed can be incredibly obedient, so if you are interested in some active dog sport, they will be a great choice for you. Pulley Pulleys are basically walking mops. These dogs look like the shaggy end of a well-used mop, and they are more than a little unusual. They have very long hair that grows in hard coils, and their coats tend to reach the ground by the time they're five years old. They kind of look like Cousin It from the Adams Family. When looking straight into the face of a pulley, you can't even see its eyes. You'll see a wet nose and a pink tongue under those long dreadlocks. What's really interesting about these scruffy dogs is that they are very easy to bathe. You can bathe them just like any other long-haired dog, but the difference is in the drying. Because of how thick the dog's hair is, it can take hours for it to dry. The only good news is that you don't need to bathe a pulley dog very often. These dogs are tiny under their fur. Thanks to their self-esteem and intelligence, pulley will have no problem being the center of attention in your home. These dogs are as loving as they are energetic and actually look much bigger than they are. Bedlington Terrier, a dog with a pear-shaped head. Bedlington Terriers have the most peculiar heads of any dog you have ever seen. While their main coat is a dark gray, almost bald color, they have a fluffy tuft of white hair on their head that gives them this strange pear shape. They were originally bred to kill vermin like rats and mice and to help hunters, but today they have become master companions and extremely popular show dogs. Bedlington Terriers are completely pure. They love being at the center of attention and they don't like sharing their household with other dogs. Talk about needy. They require your undivided attention and unfaltering adoration. These pups are curious, intelligent, and extremely aggressive towards small animals. If you have cats or hedgehogs, this might not be the best pet for you. A somewhat unpleasant accident could occur. Don't be tricked by how much of a lamb this dog looks like with its tufts of white hair. It was originally bred to be a killer, and while they are pretty friendly with families and strangers, they definitely still have their hunting instincts well intact. These dogs are fiercely loyal and will certainly keep your house free of rats and other vermin. What do you think of this cute pear-headed lamb dog? Tell me about it in the comments below. Sholo It's Quintly The Sholo It's Quintly, or Sholo for short, is a hairless Mexican dog. This dog might have the most interesting backstory of any canine on Earth. You see, Sholo dogs go way back to the ancient civilizations of the Maya and the Aztecs. The ancient Aztecs thought of these dogs as guardians of the underworld who would guard the living and then guide their departed souls into the underworld safely. These dogs are generally black, mean looking, and their body kinda looks like rubber or tar rather than fur. They are extremely muscular, some people think they are absolutely hideous, and others think they are adorable. The Sholos remain to this day a national treasure in Mexico with a long and respected history in the country. What other dog in the world had its name derived from two words of an ancient language? The first meaning the god of lightning and death, and the other meaning dog. An interesting fact about this breed is that in the United States, it has been sold for up to $3,000. That's really expensive, don't you think? Peruvian Inca Orchid the Peruvian Inca Orchid is an extremely unusual dog, unlike any other breed in existence. It is an ancient breed of dog from Peru, and it became the country's national dog in 2001. The dog goes back as far as 750 CE, which is a seriously long time ago. The first Spanish conquistadors in the Incan territory were particularly impressed by this dog, and many believe that the Spanish invaders ended up breeding the Peruvian Inca Orchid with their own dogs to create hybrids. In Peru, the Peruvian Inca Orchid is known as Perro Sin Pelo de Peru, which translates literally to Dog Without Hair of Peru. Not only is this one of the most unusual looking dogs in the world, but it is also one of the rarest. At one time, they were also said to have mystical powers and the ability to heal anything from headaches to arthritis. 
Despite this, due to his lack of hair and his rough appearance, he has not had much popularity over the years. If you wanted to have one of these dogs, you should know that since this breed has no fur, the sun is a real threat to them. They could get burned. You should only apply a generous amount of sunscreen as you would in the summer. Pharaoh Hound Everything about this breed exudes Egyptian royalty. Many people even think this dog looks a lot like the famous Sphinx standing in front of the Pyramid of Giza. There is no doubt the Pharaoh Hound looks strikingly similar to many hieroglyphics found throughout ancient Egypt tombs and temples. They have been around for more than 5,000 years and have changed little in that time. Back in the day, they were the dogs of kings. It is believed that the pharaoh hounds were used to hunt gazelles and other incredibly quick animals with their pharaohs, and this is where they get their name. Strangely enough, pharaoh hounds are actually the national dog of Malta, a small city in Europe. This is likely due to Malta's proximity to northern Egypt. These dogs have come a long way from their lives under the rule of kings and are now friendly, affectionate, and great family companions but they are definitely unusual, with long bodies, erect ears, and extremely happy faces. Which dog is your favorite? Do you have any of these breeds at home? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. See you again soon for another video.